Hello, it's Chris Curtin. I am 5'5". Five five. I'll give you the front and the left and the right and the back. I went to, oh, we got to do the hands. I went to beauty school in Albany, New York, and that was about 15 years ago. I was licensed and passed the state boards in New York, but then moved to Florida about a year later and had a great mentor named uh, Gregory Brady, who really taught me about hair and taught me about customers and clientele. He was the one who started the Bring Your Own Blow Dryer Monday, and we would have clients on Monday night and show them how to do their hair because one of the things the clients say is that I only look this good when you leave the chair, when you see me, that doesn't do them or me any favors. You need to know how to make your hair look good in between seeing your hairstylist. That was something that Greg really enforced on us. Uh, my skills are mainly color and cutting. I enjoy doing both. My expertise is also in being that sort of psychologist, salon stylist, where my clients felt better inside and outside when they left an afternoon sitting in my chair. I would tell them things like, a stone don't move unless you push it. Nobody needs two helpings of that. And stuff about their hair as well. Wet your hair before you go in the ocean or the pool. You're dry sponge will absorb less water than a wet sponge. So if your hair is wet, it absorbs less chlorine and less salt. I did have a blonde girl come in with a green cast. And when I said to her, did you go in the pool? She said, yeah, but I wet my hair first. And I said, where'd you get the water from? And she said, the jacuzzi. And I was like, stay blonde, stay blonde. It totally works for you. I had a great clientele for 12 years in Florida. I regretted leaving them when I moved to California to pursue comedy, entertainment, and acting. However, I had no idea my hair experience and my ability to be on camera could merge and make two things I'm very passionate about into one thing. Uh, one of my worst experiences very early on was making a bride cry on her wedding day. Uh, she had picked out a picture of Janet Jackson who had a curly hair set, looked like a pin curl set, kind of relaxed. And uh, she said something to me, and I said, okay. And I put her head in beautiful pink curls, beautiful blonde hair, very pale skin girl. What she had said to me was that she didn't want to look like Marilyn Monroe. And when I did the pin curls and combed my hair through it, she looked just like Marilyn Monroe. Fortunately, another stylist was able to take over and actually used what I had done to create a beautiful updo. But I was heartbroken very early on in my styling career that... I had made a bride cry. Um, I did eventually get over it. And one of my happy, good stories, it's not even a story. Go and cut hair for the homeless or for breast cancer survivors one time. It will humble you. It will fill you with gratitude. It will make you realize you are way more fortunate in this world than some people. The breast cancer survivors are, is always a wonderful event to do. You're taking someone who's been through a lot and, and helping them feel better about themselves and what they're going through. But the homeless, that is something you must do. Because when I was cutting this woman's hair and she said that she had been sort of olded out of getting another job, she was too old, she wanted a young kind of hairstyle. We consulted about something in between because I couldn't give her something totally young if she wasn't 22 years old. Uh, she said to the newspaper reporter that it was interviewing her while I was cutting her hair that she hoped that this haircut would make her feel better about herself and be able to get a job and get a place to live and get back on her feet. And the camera guy was crying. I was crying because I have a bed. I have a roof. I have a refrigerator with food in it. I have so many things. I have cut hair for the homeless every year since that one experience. So that's probably the best thing about ever picking up a pair of shears in your life is using them to help others. Um, again, I'm Chris Curtin. Thank you.